I believe that that question is very important to frame properly. I generally reject the premise uh, of asking or framing the discussions about the differences between the Islamic world and the um, uh, West. I think it is uh, more important to highlight the similarities, which is uh, based on the ways with which uh, legal and jurisprudence scholars addressed the difficult questions of organizing society in a just and equitable manner, the protection from a, the concentration of power, or even the, um, the protection of fundamental liberties. Um, in that sense, I like to think of the Magna Carta, which is the subject of uh, our discussion um, uh, in this event. And, for example, the Constitution of Medina, which is a 1,400-year-old document. They're not necessarily cons uh, constitutive documents, but they surely are, in one form or another, a, um, con a uh, social contract. I do think that uh, while I don't believe there is such a, um, a discipline as Islamic constitutional uh, law. I do believe that there is Islamic political thought. And um, in most texts, this issue was uh, addressed um, head-on, um, that no concentration of power should be unchecked. Um, and certainly, uh, there should be measures with which um, that concentration of power um, is, is uh, addressed. Um, rule of law as one of the fundamental uh, um, doctrines that guide that, governance with justice, and also mechanisms with which a despot, for example, is removed, uh, have been safeguard, uh, safeguarded since the beginning and uh, since the inception of uh, political ideology in Islam. I think that that's where the similarities with other traditions uh, is important. We always have to go back to the context and um, there was never a moment in history where Islamic political thought uh, was in operation uh, without or in operation in, a, uh, in, a, in an intellectual vacuum. Uh, it was influenced by other sources and other traditions. Um, certainly, it was reinforced by the idea of uh, legislation or the, a legislative council or an advisory council. And I think that um, the more we look at some of uh, the comparisons in history, whether you look at John Locke's the thinking or the Declaration of Independence, you see some parallels. Now, um, which well was the source of uh, uh, the inspiration and who? Dug the well is, is a big question, but certainly an interesting one.